Can earbuds this small actually sound good? Let's find out. Dave Taylor here again, and this time I'm looking at wireless Bluetooth earbuds. That's this guy, right? Actually, there's two of them, so it's these guys. But here's the thing. There's no thing sitting around your neck. There's no little box. There's nothing else. It's literally just these devices, and they're really easy to work with. You just put it in your ear and spin it until the hook actually connects to your ear, and they're both in. And now to turn it on, I push once and then you hear on and on and then they find each other and they say paired and then it says connected because now I'm actually on Bluetooth with whatever device I want. In this case, it happens to be an Apple iPhone, but it could be any device that pushes out Bluetooth and a tap of the finger. And if you could hear what I'm hearing, it's pretty nice, it's pretty loud. So, it's pretty darn impressive, actually. These are the Hero wireless earbuds from Winter Gear. And this is quite the hot little market because, of course, Apple has pushed into it and, and sort of defined it as being a big deal with their AirPods. And these are definitely a lot less expensive than those. But in terms of sound quality and stuff, well, you know, they're not quite the same thing. Then again, these were great with Android devices and Apple kind of likes to have its stuff work with Apple devices. So enough about the AirPods. Let's talk about these Hero wireless earbuds. So they have three hours of playtime and you'll be like, what? That's not very much, but hold on because it comes with a charging base. You can see you bring this with and when you put the earbuds in it to recharge and it's easy as doing this, and doing this and closing it and now they're actually recharging and they can recharge four times off of the little extra battery that's in this so if you're doing your math three times four that gives you a full 12 hours of listening with little gaps for you to charge it as you go but honestly my experience is it works pretty darn well uh, the earbuds feature let's pull them back out so you can see them the earbuds feature CVC 6.0 noise cancellation, which is pretty handy. And they also have APTX dynamic audio in them. So APTX is not supported on your iOS device, but on a lot of Android devices it is, and that gives you more dynamic range. So makes the music sound better. They have a little eight millimeter dynamic driver. And what else? Let's see, they're sweat proof, which is important. So you can put them in and go for a run or a bicycle ride and no one will even know you have them. It's not like wires hanging down. There's no external indication that it's here. Not only that, but this is crazy. They have a built-in microphone so you can actually use them for phone calls. Now, my experience is that the person on the other end says, as is often with these devices, well, you're a little soft, can you speak up a bit? But otherwise, it works pretty sweet. And this is particularly great if you're on a conference call or on like a, a webinar or something like that, where you just gotta sit and listen for the vast majority of it. This makes that very convenient. Now, the on-ear controls themselves give you play and pause. You can tap to answer an incoming call and you can tap to skip a song. Um, I find that a little clumsy because I'm just constantly doing this. I kind of prefer having something down here or frankly, I'll just have my phone sitting like this and I'll tap next song. So it works, but it's not something I found super important. Um, comes with two sizes of ear hooks and three sizes of ear tips and as always getting the right size ear tip makes a significant difference in the sound but while we're here let's talk about the sound because the reality is is they're little teeny tiny earbuds and they don't have a very great sound it's good but there's no full lushness to it so you know there's not a lot of bass going on even when you put in big ear tips and let them fill up your ear canal there's just not a lot there there. It's much more at the high end, which is pretty typical for these sort of devices. So I wouldn't get these thinking you're going to have this mind blowing, you know, audiophile, amazing experience. It's not really what they're for, but they actually are certainly listenable if you are willing to maybe mess with what kind of music you have and change the EQ on your Bluetooth device. Um, they work really well for phone calls because it's such a narrower range that they're trying to reproduce. So 
I like them and I really like the fact that it comes with this little charging unit because otherwise three hours on a charge would be pretty tedious. Um, it is important to notice that there are little charging things here and so you do have to line that up when you want to charge it. You want to make sure that you get it in exactly the right position or frankly it won't charge and you will sit there and you will wonder why you've had it in there for so long and nothing's happening. So other than that two more things. Number one, go ahead and click that subscribe button so we can continue to be in touch. Thank you very much. And number two, the price. Dun dun. So how much would you pay for these wireless Bluetooth earbuds from Winter Gear? The answer is 99 bucks and that includes the charging unit, the ear tips, the ear hooks, the unit itself all in this beautiful case. So $99 from amazon.com. This is the Hero wireless earbud from Winter Gear. This is Dave Taylor and I am out of here because I'm gonna listen to some more music and I'll catch you in my next video.